Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be covering a few different website tips for ways to create your Shopify streetwear website. I'm gonna demonstrate a few different parts of your website that you can customize to create a smoother navigation and user experience for your clothing brand website. Let's get straight into this video. The first tip for a way that you can customize your streetwear or clothing website on Shopify, this will be to customize your website's navigation menus and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this to enhance the user experience on your website. You'll want to start by opening Shopify and you wanna open your themes page so that you can go in to customize your website. Once you open your website, you want to click on your header bar so that we can customize the menu that displays on the header. I'm also gonna show you how to customize your footer bar, which will appear at the bottom of the website on your footer section. Next to menu, you want to click on the main menu, then click edit, to go in to customize the menu editing page. Inside your menu editing page, this is where you can customize the current menu links. You can reposition them or remove them. And you can add a brand new menu links. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna create a brand new menu. So you just wanna click menus under content and then click create menu. Under menu items, you want to click add menu item. And the first link I'm gonna add will be a link to the homepage of the website. Once you added that link, you'll want to click check mark to officially add it to the menu. You can add links to many different pages inside your website, including your different product collections. You'll definitely wanna add links to your product collections or to your all collections page, where customers can shop and check out your product collections. I'll be adding a link to the all collections page, which is a page that features all the different product collections for customers to browse. I'm gonna click the check mark icon. Then next, I'm gonna add a menu link to the contact page. If you have additional pages in your website, like a blog, an about us page, or a product care page, you can add links to those pages as well. Once you're done, don't forget to save your menu to apply those changes. And back inside your website, you want to click on your header bar again, and then next to menu. If you adjusted your main menu, you should see those new changes applied. But if you created a new menu like I did, just click on the main menu, click replace, and you should be able to apply that brand new menu that you just created. Customizing your menu really helps to create a smoother user experience on your website. Next, I'll be showing you how to customize your website's footer menu links so that you can add a similar menu to your footer. On Shopify, you'll wanna take similar steps. So on Shopify, you wanna click content, then menus, and then you can click create menu and you can title it your footer menu. And next, you can begin adding menu items. Usually you can add similar menu items to what you have on your main menu, and you can add additional page links, like a link to your blog or additional pages. I'll be adding a homepage link, a link to the all collections page and about us link. And I'm also adding a blog link and I'll be adding a shop policies link. Then you want to save your footer menu and back inside the Shopify theme editor, you want to scroll to the bottom of the page until you see the footer bar. You'll want to hover over the footer bar, then open the footer dropdown and click add block. Then you can insert a menu and it should give you the option next to menu to apply the brand new footer menu that you just created. I'm going to remove this heading text and that's a quick way to add menu links, but you can actually add your logo to your footer bar as well. Just hover over the menu section and click the plus icon, you'll be able to select insert an image. And inside this image box is where you should be able to upload your brand's logo. And I'm gonna adjust the sizing for this logo. And that's how to add links to your footer menu so that even if customers are on different pages in your website, they should be able to see your footer menu links when they scroll down. Also, if you guys like this website that you see in this video, this is one of my Shopify themes. It's an editable website template that you can install straight into your Shopify store and you can publish it and customize it. I designed this theme for streetwear and clothing businesses. And I also have a variety of Shopify themes for clothing and accessory businesses. These can help you to save days of time from creating your website and laying out your website on your own. And I have themes in a variety of different branding styles. So you can find one that fits your brand. The Shopify theme arrives in a zip file format. And on Shopify, you can click import theme then upload zip file and upload that theme straight into your store. You'll be able to customize it and publish it. I'm gonna link this theme along with my other themes in the description box below. Each of my theme bundles include a step-by-step -step installation guide 
to show you how to install the theme into your store. The next tip for creating your clothing Shopify website, this will be to add a size chart to your website and embed the size chart into your product pages. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. You'll want to open up your website and next you'll want to open up one of your products. Once you open up a product, we're gonna create a separate page template for this product, specifically for all of your clothing products that require a size chart on their page. So you'll wanna click default product, then click products. And then I'm gonna click create template. You can title your page template to represent your clothing products and then click create template. Once you're finished, you'll want to exit your website. Then I'm gonna open up products and then open up a specific clothing product. And we're gonna assign that new page template. So I'm gonna scroll down and under theme template, I'm gonna apply that new page template that I just created. Then I click save. And again, you can apply this specific page template to any product of yours that is a clothing item that needs your size chart on the page. To create your actual size chart, you'll want to click online store, then click pages so that you can go ahead and create a new page. Once you've done that, you'll want to click add page and we can begin customizing the page and turning it into a size chart. First, I'm gonna set the page to visible. Then I'm gonna add a title. After you title the page, I'm gonna click on this little AI button and I'm gonna tell it what the page is about so that it can start generating the page. I have the tone set to expert and then I'm gonna click generate so that it can generate the size chart. If it doesn't generate your size chart right away, you'll wanna click generate again. And then you'll just want to wait for it to generate the page. Then you can review the size chart that it has created just in case you would like it to generate something different. But if you like what you see, just click the keep button and here it has created your size chart. You can go in and make any changes to this page that you would like. For any specific text that you would like to edit or put in bold, you can just select the text and make different changes to the text. You can also click the insert image icon to insert images onto this page. Next, I'm gonna click save to go ahead and save this page. Then you'll want to go on to customize your website. You'll want to open up one of your clothing products in particular. So here's one of my example products and I'm gonna show you how to embed the size chart so that customers can see the size chart. I'm gonna hover over the buy buttons and click the plus icon. Then I'm going to insert a pop-up link text. You can retitle this section to say something like size chart or clothing size chart. Then next to page, you'll want to click select and then you can link it to that page that you just created. Once you're done, you'll want to click save to go ahead and save those changes. And I'm gonna preview this published page. Adding a size chart can help customers feel more confident in what they're ordering especially in regards to clothing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I'm gonna have this website template linked in the description box, along with where you can check out my other Shopify themes for clothing and streetwear stores. And don't forget to also grab my beginner training if you're brand new to the Shopify platform and you would like an organized, easy to follow walkthrough of the entire platform and the website setup process.